So once again, uh, good morning guys and welcome to this episode which is about Windows, Edit, View, Help and we will fix some uh, mistakes that we did last time. Actually we forgot to, to change, so let me start. I have already opened Visual Studio. So first of all, I forgot to tell you guys that we already have a web browser inside, so uh, and we need our browser, we need this more general and we have something specific here which is web browser one. So we have to delete this. We have also to delete tab page one, okay. So uh, click, on, on, uh, click on the center of this. So you select web browser one and click delete. And then uh, while you are at still on the center, so you have select tab page one, click again delete. So you have nothing inside, okay? You have only a tab control with no tab pages. So this is what we want for now. Because we will double click our vertex. So we go to our uh, load function, okay? And uh, here, uh, as you see, we have to change the home page or blank page. So a general web browser navigates uh, to our home page and not a specific one. So again, we copy this, it's the same code actually, we copy this, we paste this here and then we change the web browser one to browser. So now our general web browser navigates to our home page and not a specific one. The same thing we have to do with our um, uh, home uh, page, so when we click the home button, okay. So for the home button again we have to create Okay, and then we have to change the browser one to browser. So that's all for now. We also have to... So every time we start our web browser, so if I start the web browser now, we have no browser inside. We have no tab page. We, also, we only have the tab control. Uh, okay, let me delete this. We don't need this one. I think yeah we don't we don't need this one I don't know how why I have this here but anyway so if I start the web browser uh, oh I got it now so uh, the thing that you pasted here I'm very sorry we have to copy this we have to delete it from there and copy this inside here okay all right now and uh, we also need every time that we start our web browser we want our web browser to have a tab inside and also uh, a web browser okay so how I do this we call the add tab function and we pass inside the tab control one so hopefully now if we run this we have no mistakes we have no errors yes yes you see so every time now we create so this is a general tab page and this is a general web browser okay we don't talk about a specific one and uh, what else can i do now here uh, let me think about this uh, of course uh, we need uh, uh, to, to write the code for the new window okay so for the new window, this is a very simple code actually. So dim new window as new frm vertex, and then we say new window dot show. So this will create a new window and will show us the new window. So that's all for this one. So if we run this, if we run this, <coughs> oh. Uh, yeah, if we when we run our our uh, web browser, the history doesn't disappear. We will fix this in uh, in a second. So when I will click a new window, we create a totally new web browser. Okay. So if I go here to www.google.com, you see, we go here. So the new window works very well. So this is just for the that's all for the new window. Now. Uh, let me fix the code when you when you disappear the 
the history thing. So visible equals to true, but when the vortex starts, when the browser starts, history dot so okay, so we change we take this code from here and we paste this here. Okay. So if we run this, we don't have our history open, our history form. No, we don't have this, right? If you go down here, no, we don't have this. Very well. Okay, guys, very, very well. So, um, have you noticed something else with our browser? Because if I go somewhere, so if I click on this website, if I click on the, that link, you see that the tab name is very, very long, right? It's very long. And if I opened a new tab, okay a new tab and I go on YouTube this tab page is very very small you see the the name of the tab page is very small so this is huge and this is very small so uh, we need uh, we need a limit right we need a limit and uh, we have to go on your web browser function class so you go here and you right click this and you uh, click on view code Alright, because here we will need an if statement. So let me put some spaces right there. And we need uh, an if statement which says if me document title dot length is greater than 25, so you can say whatever you want, but for me it will be 25. Then we say <coughs> we call we we uh, we cut this from here, we paste this here, <coughs> and we say dot substring and then 0, 0,25 so we start from 0 uh, character till the 25th then 25th character uh, but be very careful uh, these two numbers must be the same so if you have this 10 then this must also be 10 okay and uh, else if it's less than uh, 25 then just put the name uh, of the of the website on the tab so that's all and if you start the web browser you will notice that when we start the web browser we go on youtube we have the name of the tab right here but here we have nothing there is no link here there is no url so this is a mistake that i did so we do have to delete this part of the code dim frm vortex as new vortex frm vortex delete this part and now hopefully if we start this Yes, now it's 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 uh, it's very well. So everything works perfect. All right. So if I go to Google, we have immediately the the URL on, on the top. So and when you change, when you change your. Oh my God! Uh, sorry about this. Uh, when you, okay, maybe, yeah. We will need we will need uh, to add a code when you can right click this and uh, you will get uh, a new tab. So open in a new tab because here this is a default menu that you have a sub menu whatever this is called. This is a default one. So we have to create our own, but not at this video because I'm not ready for this. I didn't notice that you know this happens. So yeah, anyway, and uh, so every time you go somewhere else, you see that the link at the top, the URL at the top changes. So this is very, very good. Now, uh, let me close these things. Okay, so we have a menu here. Okay, we have uh, we have options like undo, redo, cut, copy, paste and select all. So we need code for all of them. So double click them so you can type the code. Okay, and since we are looking about the URL, this will be for the URL, txt URL dot uh, undo. This is very simple as you see, txt URL dot redo. Uh, there is no redo here, undo and where is the other one, redo. Uh -huh. Uh, by the way, this is not very important. 
ok clear and do uh, if you want you can add this part of code if you don't want you can skip this it's not something you know that is very advanced it's just a line of code this is a copy uh, this is a paste txt url this is a select all uh, I don't think that I have forgot something I think everything it's okay yeah all right so uh, this is the menu code now uh, uh, a guy on YouTube so a viewer and actually I think also a, a youtuber called Richard he sent me a code uh, to save the the code of the of the website the HTML code of the website uh, I took the code and I changed it a bit so the code now it's more suitable for for the web browser and uh, you will write our code right here so thank you very much Richard for your uh, for your help so uh, this will be dim browser as web browser function equals to tab control tab control one dot selected tab dot tag <coughs> and then we have to say dim file name as string equals to input box and then enter file name comma save HTML as the title of the of the input box and then dot txt will be the text that will be already inside the input box dim path as string equals to this is my path so my the path is this one so you go to your computer local disk you open the vortex that you already have I think because of our history so you copy this and you have to paste this here and then slash close this this symbol whatever it is called and then file name uh, file name sorry about this file name okay so now uh, we will need a try cut so we can avoid any kind of uh, mistake so file dot exists and then we say we we pass the path inside so if the if the file exists then uh, dim all text a uh, string and then all text equals to browser dot document document text and then else so if the file doesn't exist then we have to create the file so file dot create and then we pass inside again path dot dispose so this is very important guys remember the dispose thing because this clears everything in our memory so we can use the weather we can use the the, the, the the txt file so dim all text i think this is the same code oh uh wait a moment i forgot here i forgot file dot write all text and then path and all text so you pass the, the 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 path of the file and the everything that there is inside the website the code so uh, i will copy paste this because i think it's pretty much the same let me check this for a second uh, i think yeah we dispose this we create the file we dispose that and yeah so everything it's the same all right uh i think now yeah this will definitely work i hope i will test this later so uh i decided instead of having a private window i decided to you know to have the option of selecting between uh you know actually yeah the option to enable a private browsing so i will name this uh enable private browsing okay so when we click on this when we click on this so this will be uh you know just a bit of code actually we will have no code i think for this one 
So uh, when we will click on this, we will stop recording our history. All right. So you click on this uh, option right here, and then the browser stops recording your history. So as you understand, we will not do this now because this is a part of our history episode. So, but you know, I will just create, I will just go to project and then go to vortex properties. It's at the end, it's, it's the last option. Click on that and here we will create a new variable. So uh, enable, uh, enable uh, private browsing, I will name this one. This will be a byte because we will have uh, only two options, zero and one. So, yeah, this is just for the moment. Wait, a byte, what the fuck, wait a moment. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, we will have only zero or one between if we are actually browsing on the private browsing or not so and the last thing guys is the help now for the help you can do whatever you want but in my case I don't know maybe maybe I can show a message that says uh, for more actually I don't know you can say whatever you want uh, I will just say there is no help <laughs> No help, you are fucked. Okay, because I have nothing to say here. I don't know what to say. Uh, you can create a blog for your web browser, or you can create a website for your web browser, and you know, say visit this visit this website for more help, or you can uh, type your email address, whatever you want. So uh, I think this is enough. Alright guys, so this is enough for today. Let me just run the web browser. Let me now check if everything is okay. So we have the title, the URL immediately. If I go to my local disk, Vortex, and I click on uh, an uh, a save HTML, so it asks for, for the name of my TXT file. So I go at the beginning and I say uh, YouTube I press OK, I press Enter, and then we will have uh, a file called YouTube and inside has the HTML code. Uh, the code is a bit messy, but you know, if you want to find something that it's very simple to have everything, uh, you know, just you can search whatever you want. So it's up on you guys if you want to manipulate this a bit more so you can have it, you know, more advanced, I don't know. So, yeah, everything works perfectly. So we are not we are not bad about this. We haven't, you know, we have done everything very very good. Uh, I'm very proud about this web browser because I think this is the most advanced web browser on YouTube. I don't think that we will find a better one. I mean, seriously, guys, I think that. I'm very proud for myself and for all of you that you keep watching my videos, you keep watching them and liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. So I'm very proud for you guys. I mean, the web browser is so advanced. I mean, I, I don't know what to say about this one. So we still have bookmarks. We still have history a download manager. We have to work with our advanced settings a bit more. We will create an email sender and then uh, we will have a video about the final details. So. Whatever we have missed, all right, we will do it during that video. Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is an epic web browser. I hope you like this. I mean, this is just for today. I hope you have a very good day. So good morning again and uh, goodbye, guys.